with your partner Sadebo for another scouting mission. By far, tell us what has been your impression. Impression is always the same. Very nice impression. Very nice players. I don't think I don't speak about uh, the town, uh, the country, because it's wonderful for us. It's an incredible uh, country, but uh, players are amazing. Always I find some players new. Every time I come, I find something. This is very important for my job. Uh, how many players do you think you will actually need from this trial? I, I don't remember even how, how much players uh, I transfer. Uh, uh, Aliso first, uh, after Lamin Giallo, Yusuf Abob, uh, uh, Musabaro, Ibrahim Macolli, Modubadje, Usman Gomez, uh, and now other kids are growing. So from this particular trial, are there players that actually caught your attention you will want to go with them? From this particular trial, yeah. this week, uh, I think three, four players will go to uh, Turkey, Syria. We have uh, to discuss, but uh, I feel that some players will go there. So as a technician, if there are some of the observations, you see a lot of players play. I mean, what will be your advice to the coaches of these players? What do you think they need to adjust on? Hey, I, I can say tactic, but this is not normal. We have only in Italy this problem of tactic. No? The other country, they don't take care of the tactic. But what is important is that I see that also players have a very good technique. This is very, very important for players for future. And also that they are very fast. Because future is technique and fast. This is uh, the best. All right, thank you. Uh, Luigi, um, looking at the second edition of the uh, Sportless Football Agency, uh, we heard that you have some players that are supposed to travel to Italy. Yes, there are two players that come to Italy. But we will see, I don't want to say nothing. They get visa. But uh, we will see what's happened with the player. And you cannot name the players? Are the players, you know better than me. <laughs> <laughs> One is the brother of Steve Trawalli, see that. Okay. And the other is Suleiman Giallo from Blackpool. All right. Thank you. Very nice players. Good. Like always. Thank you. Will you be able to have another Musabaro? What? Another Musabaro? I, I, I have another Musabaro, but only nickname, uh, Ibrahim Adiba. Sorry, <laughs> okay. uh, once again, you pioneered the trial, I mean, for a lot of young players. What has been the motivation behind? Um, to help these kids, as Luigi said, from the time he started coming, he said, this country is beautiful, there's so much talent here, and I want to be somebody that will help build the national team by taking a lot of players out. And since he started coming about 11 years ago now, you know, the relationship has gotten stronger and stronger by the day. And any time we conduct trials here, these kids show a lot of talent and they take it out. So for us, we are motivated by the fact that the players themselves are very hungry and they want to go. So it's the same thing all the time. And it also takes a lot of convincing like you do myself, we try to convince these scouts and these clubs for them to come to Africa. Because if you tell most of these scouts or clubs Africa, they say, oh, Africa, but we, we convince them and then they come down, they see a lot of talent and they're usually happy. So it's good for us. Since its inception, what has been the impact? What has been the, 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 most, the positive side of it? It's when these kids get their visas and they're about to go. You can see the joy on their faces and the faces of their families. That they know this is something that can change the life of the player and the life of the, you know, the family. We get people from Nigeria, Luigi knows, from Senegal, they call us to come, to come and join the trial. Some will pay their flights to come. So for us, it's, it's so gratifying to see that these kids would have a visa and they know this is the thing that can change their life for better because they're going to turn the professional and you know become the next big stars of the game that can come and play at the independent stadium and hopefully he's one of the people that you know makes most of them because he keeps coming every three months we're thinking of doing another one in september or october because we want to get this thing going it's not just a one-off but this is something we want to keep doing to give more kids the opportunity and the chance to go forward what has been some of the challenges if any 
to be honest, challenges is mostly trying to get clubs to get their form sorted, come on time. Because I tell these kids, if you want to become a professional, you have to respect time. When we say 9 o'clock, you should be here for 8, warm up and then play. But sometimes you're here, 9 o'clock, the kids are not ready, the jazzes are not here, you don't have their forms. They don't know these, they don't know the players. So if you don't have the forms and know their ages and things like that, it's difficult. So we implore the teams to also improve on that and also improve on time. I mean, can you imagine there was a team that was supposed to play the last time and start at 11. They came here 11.40. You were supposed to be here for 10. So those are some of the challenges we Because imagine people pay flights, hotel to come here. We give each club transport refund to come here. So this is not something that we do just for showcase. It's something we're doing to help these teams and the players for them to move forward. So we urge them to try and do better. When we have trials, give us the facts, give us the correct information. That you know, these people can use to help them take them out. So do you have a specific number that is actually needed, I mean, uh, as per this trial, or that depends on the agents? Yes, they look at the interesting numbers of players that they're interested in, and they talk to the clubs, and I also watch the clubs to also be flexible in terms of negotiation, because you can get the player out and then negotiate and get sell-on and stuff like that, so they choose the number they want, depending on the position and what they're looking for. But I think they're identifying about three or four players from what we've discussed so far. I was going to come to that. What will be your message to these young players and the coaches and the people behind them? Like Luigi tells them, keep running. You either run to avoid being eaten, it's like a jungle, or you run to eat. Because you have to be on your feet all the time. That is what puts food on the table for you and changes your life. So you have to be motivated by the fact that you need to fight. Because sometimes you see them fight here, but when they travel, they're all relaxed because they feel they're in Europe. And this thing has to continue. You must be doing more every day. Every day you have to be better so that you can, you know, go to the top level. Otherwise, you go there and then you do not perform, you do not play. So for the kids, we urge them to try to be prepared all the time, keep training, work harder and fight harder to be better. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.